Hello, this is Mark Proctor, and this is the fourth music theory video. This is how chords are made. In the last few videos, we learned about keys, half steps, and whole steps, and scales. So, from a scale, we have different note numbers or places in the scale. So, if we went to a G scale here, G is the first note in a G scale. A is the second note in a G scale. B is the third, and so on. Now, how chords are made is by taking different combinations of notes out of that scale and putting them together. That's how chords are made. So, if you look down here, I have a chord formula chart. So, the major chord, any major chord, is made out of the first, the third, and the fifth note of its scale. So, a G chord is made of a G note, which is the first note in the scale, a B note, which is the third note in the scale, and a D note, which is the fifth note in a scale. So any G, B, and D make up a G chord, any combination of those notes. Now the reason this is good to know is that you don't just have to play the typical G chord on the fretboard. You know, the first chord that everybody learns on the guitar is, you know, this G chord. But now I can play more G chords than just that one, or than just the bar chord version of G. I can know that any G, B, and D make up a G chord. So I could go to the fretboard and I could think, hmm, this is my E string. And I've got F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. Okay, B, that's one of the notes in a G chord, because G, B, and D make it up. So B, we'll remember that. Now we'll go to the B string. B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. Okay, G is one of the notes. So now we've got B and G, okay. Now, let's go to the G string. G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. So now I know that I've got D, G, and B. So that is a G chord, because it's a G, a B, and a D together. G, B, and D. Even though they're in a different order, it's still those three notes, so it's still a G chord. Now this is good because now we're starting to get the tools we need to make up our own chords up and down the neck, or parts of chords that we can use to craft parts. So that's how chords are made. Let's go back to the chart, the music theory chart again, and we'll take a look at a different chord formula and how it works the same way. So, if we were to um, have a chord that was an add four chord, so let's say we wanted to do an A add four, then we would look at that chord formula chart and we'd go, okay, the first note in an A scale is an A, the third note is a C sharp, the fourth note is a D, so that's the, the four that we're going to add on this add four chord. We're going to add the fourth note of the scale. So an A, a C sharp, a D, and the fifth note is an E. So if we go back to the fretboard and we figure out how we're going to make this chord so that we have an A, a C sharp, a D, and an E. Okay. Well, we know that this note open is an A, okay? So there's an A. The D note at the second fret is an E. That was the fifth note of the scale, so that's part of it. 
um, the G chord at the, let's see, at the second fret is an A, at the fourth fret is a B, and at the sixth fret is a C sharp, so that could be part of this. And then the B string, C, C sharp, D, that's the four. So that would be the four that we'd want to add in there. And of course, an E open is part of that chord. So um, if we have an A, an E, an A, a D, and an E, that's technically an add four. Now it doesn't have the C sharp note in it. We'd need to we'd need to put the C sharp note in there to make it a real um, add four. So technically that's a A add four because it has the one, the three, the five, and the four in it. So um, you can see the idea from this music theory chart that the same principle applies with any chord. You find out what notes, what steps in the scale make that particular kind of chord and then you can figure out, okay, that's the notes that make up this chord. So for instance, on a two chord, You'd have the one, the two, and the five. Those are the notes that make up a two. So a B2 chord is made up of B, C sharp, and F sharp. Those are the notes that make up a B2 chord. So that's how chords are made. This is, we're gonna build on this more later on because this will help us know how to make arrangements, how to play solo stuff or lead parts around chords and how bass players can also play alternate notes in a given chord because we know what notes make up the chord now. So that's how chords are made.